everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video I want to let you know what I have actually been testing out I'm testing out some new products something very very exciting came my way and I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you guys so uh, before we get started if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below I would love to have you you can also follow me on Instagram snapchat Twitter TikTok, all that good stuff I will have those all listed down below for you so with that being said let's go ahead and start with the good news because I was so excited I got my very first very first PR package and it just came out of the blue and I was just like what is, what is what is that is, is that box for me <laughs> I was so excited I could not believe it um, but yeah it was really really cool and uh, of course I tested out the contents so what I received I'll have a picture right here of the little box is a couple products from pop beauty if you don't know what pop beauty is it's kind of like um, a sister brand of pixie beauty and uh, yeah I'm super excited so they sent me three items they sent me the eyeshadow palette look at that palette it's so pretty uh, they sent me the makeup magnet mist and then they also sent me the pop beauty ultraviolet light highlighter now I am wearing all three of these on my face today I'm wearing the eyeshadow palette the spray and the highlight if you can I don't know if you can tell or not um, so with that being said the palette let's talk about the palette real fast now doesn't matter if I get it in PR or not I will always let you guys know what I really feel about this stuff um, so it actually has only one matte in this palette some shimmers and then it has a couple of glitters now the colors are absolutely stunning definitely caught my eye when I first opened the box and uh, yeah like I said I'm wearing it on my eyes today so I am wearing this brown shade here uh, I'm wearing this one and this one and a little bit of this one. I've played with a couple of the other ones including the glitters as well. So the first thing I have to say about this is like I said it only has one matte so if you get this palette you definitely have to pull from another palette. Um, that was a little bit of a bummer. I kind of wish I had at least minimum two maybe three mattes that would have been a little bit better for me um, because I am more of a one palette kind of girl but it wasn't really that big of a deal I pulled from another palette and it was fine now the matte they do have in here is an amazing matte shade it blended absolutely beautifully the color was there it was just oh I was so impressed by the matte shade that makes me want another matte in this palette even more um, the shimmers like as you can see I have a shimmer on my lid is absolutely stunning I loved it so much now the glitters in here they're very very pretty they definitely do the job they are very messy <laughs> so you are gonna get a lot of fallout on your face uh, if you do decide to use the glitter so make sure that you do your eyes first and then go back and do your face but all in all I actually really enjoy this palette I'm super excited to have it um, like I said I pulled from another palette to use as a outer corner sh shadow so that's not really a big deal because the shimmers in here are simply stunning so I'm very very happy with this huge shout out to pop beauty thank you so much for sending it to me I'm very happy to be able to play with it now this highlight I am not a very when it comes to highlights I don't really go out of the box like blues and greens I do like purple highlights <laughs> one of my favorite highlights is from Becca it's their amethyst highlight oh it is so stunning I've worn it in a couple looks and it's like my number one favorite purple highlighter now when I saw this I thought oh my gosh this could be a second one and it is it actually really is a very pretty highlight I will say that it is a very strong <laughs> it is so strong um becca of course becca's highlighters just kind of like melt onto your face this one i used my fingers and i had to definitely go back over with a sponge and kind of tap it in but it's still very 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 pretty i love this shade and if you are into purple highlighters i think you will like this as well um just so you guys know this video is not sponsored all opinions are definitely my own okay um so with that being said i really do enjoy this now this mist i was a little worried because makeup mist 
you know, I kind of stick with my Urban Decay. Pixie, I have that. It's okay. Um, oh my gosh, my uh, my Glow Recipe Mist is heavenly. Um, so I wanted to, so introducing a new mist was kind of like, you know, what's this going to do? <laughs> um, but I actually really enjoyed this. Now, this is supposed to be an energizing makeup spray. Uh, it says the makeup finishing mist spray fixes makeup like a magnet to the skin while delivering hydration and nutrients, ensuring all day makeup stay. Now, when I sprayed this, I smelled like a hint of peppermint, which actually was really nice. I don't mind peppermint in my makeup. I think I love the smell. And I do like the spray on this. Let me see if you guys can see. It's a very, very fine mist. If you are familiar with... Um, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Spray. It has a mist like that. It's just very fine. Mm. Oh, I love the smell of peppermint. But yes, the mist on this is extremely fine, which makes it really nice going on the face and refreshing. So I'm actually really happy with this. This is definitely gonna stay on my main table. Now something else I have come across that I actually have on my face today is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk uh, foundation. I saw this in stores and I was just kind of like, oh, you know, that's a little cute bottle. It's $10. You get uh, one fluid ounce, which is kind of standard because my Maybelline Dewy and Smooth, it's one fluid ounce, but it's like $8. So it's right around that, that common um, price range. Now, the shade range on this, of course, sucks ass okay it just it does um i was lucky enough to actually find a shade that worked for me it is a little bit on the pink side i played with it some um but i do like the finish of it i do like the way that it makes my face look except for right in here i am getting a lot of creasing here and i haven't even worn it for more than a couple hours honestly um and i got some cakiness right in here I've been under a lot of stress, so I do have some breakouts right in this area, so that definitely could be it, but oh my gosh, it looks so bad. Like, I'm going to bring you guys in, and I, let me just say I'm so sorry, okay? Now far away, I do think it looks really, really nice. I'm also wearing a primer that at first I didn't think I liked, but I'm retesting it out. So maybe that also has something to do with it. Um, it's that Hydro Gel Milk Primer. I've heard really good things about it. So I wanted to test it out again since I had like a sample. And um, maybe I should have done that with a foundation that I already love. <laughs> Just a thought. But I want to give it a second shot, so you're going to have to stay tuned on that. Like I said, the creasing in here is just, oh my god, it is terrible. It's one of the worst I've seen. So, and even when I pat it in, it like br takes away the foundation. Like the foundation goes away right here. Like I'm, now I'm missing a nice little chunk. Ugh, so annoying. So right now, first impressions, if I would say that you were looking into testing this out, I would say save your money. Like $10 is a lot of money for this. And there are definitely better other better foundations out there, especially drugstore, that you can get. So don't waste your money on this. Now this is definitely not new to the market whatsoever. I gotten this in a boxy, no, an Ipsy think Ipsy. Uh, it is the um, Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I finally got to test this out today and I really like it. <laughs> I love the coverage that it gives on my under eye. I love the color. It actually works really, really well for me. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to have this. I love everything about it. And this will definitely be used again in the future. So the other palette I actually used for my eye look, it's a new palette to me. It's not new to the market, um, but I got to, to, I'm able to test it out because I received it in BoxyCharm. It is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. First of all, 
I love this palette. I am so mad at myself for not getting it sooner because it is absolutely stunning. One of the looks I did um, with it, <sighs> I loved it so, so much. I'm using it for a date night tomorrow night. Um, and yeah, I use this for the outer corner as well. And this, my friends, is a perfect neutral palette perfect neutral matte palette if that's something that you're into and you don't have this I highly suggest this the shadows are super blendable smell yummy and it's just an amazing palette all right so we only have a couple more things I want to talk about real fast so in my boxy charm last month um, I got the beauty creations Cali chic eyeshadow palette now it did come damaged you can see I kind of had to press the shadow back in but it was like all crumbled all over the place uh, so it's a really pretty palette. I've been playing in it a little bit and I actually really enjoy this palette, but I did contact uh, BoxyCharm when it arrived to try and get a replacement since this was pretty crushed up. Now they did, were actually ran out and I was so freaking excited because they gave me a choice of something completely different. Let me show you what it is. Look what they were able to send me as a replacement. Oh my god. God, I love it so much. Okay, this is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Now, this was actually in their BoxyCharm however many months ago. I was so sad because I did not have BoxyCharm at that time, and I was so jealous of everybody that got it, but this was my replacement, you guys. Like, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Now, Natasha Denona is a very expensive brand, number one. Number two... Uh, the quality is amazing. <laughs> like, I have her uh, her big, like, blush and glow palette, and that sucker is just simply stunning. But it is very pricey. <laughs> so, to able to get this as a replacement, I was super stoked, and I love everything in here. I've used this a couple times as my highlights, and um, I'm a little scared of the blush. I haven't quite used that one yet, but the highlight I have, and uh, yeah. So excited, so freaking excited. I always, I always heard really good things about this one, so I'm able to test it out and I love it. And the last thing I have for you guys, this once again is not new, but it's new to me. Um, I love Dominique Cosmetics. I love every single eyeshadow palette she has came out with like head over heels, full on in love with that. I have tried her lipsticks. I don't like them. I do not like her lipsticks um, so that actually was kind of a bummer and I've never tried her glosses but what was it BoxyCharm um, I received her Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade uh, lip gloss uh, this one is in strawberry lemonade and I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. I didn't like the lipstick, but I like the lip gloss. So this, first of all, smells delicious. It is like so yummy. Mm, I love the consistency of it. And it is definitely one of my favorite lip glosses. I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I tried putting on a little bit over my lipstick, but I didn't like how it felt because I don't really like wearing lipstick and lip gloss at the same time. It's just a little bit too much for my lips. Um, but I really do enjoy this. So very happy with this. All right. So those are all the things that I've been kind of testing out, playing with. And uh, yeah. I have missed makeup so much. I feel like life has just been absolutely crazy. I've been going through a lot in my personal life. Uh, definitely some big changes going on. I have actually knee surgery next Wednesday, so I don't know if I will be able to get a video up next week, but the week after should be no problem. So with that being said, I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe, and uh, yeah, I will see you on my next video. Bye.